Welcome back to Penn State Sports Night. I'm Kendall Skalicki alongside Morgan Bowl, and we're here to bring you this week's sports update. Penn State Wrestling took home its 10th National Championship trophy, its 9th in 11 years, and 9th under coach Cale Sanderson. In addition to the team's title, Penn State won a perfect 5 for 5 for individual championships, with seniors Roman Bravo Young and Nick Lee, juniors Aaron Brooks and Max Dean, and sophomore Carter Starachi claiming titles. The Lions earned 131.5 total points, nearly 40 points more than 95 points earned by second place Michigan. To cap off a perfect season, Sanderson was named the 2022 NCAA Championship Coach of the Year by the National Wrestling Coaching Association. Penn State baseball hosted its first home series over the weekend against Milwaukee. Penn State defeated the Panthers 6-4 on Friday and then again on Saturday by a score of 4-3. Sunday was a different story though as Milwaukee took that 1-12-0. Penn State went over 19 innings without allowing a run during the series but that streak snapped after giving up a run in the third inning. Penn State has a chance to redeem itself as it will face Youngston State this Tuesday. The Blue and White has defeated the Penguins in each of their past four meetings. Then, starting on Friday, the Nittany Lions will be hosting Rutgers at Medler Field for their first conference series of the 2022 season. It was an exciting weekend at Pagula Ice Arena where Penn State hosted the 2022 NCAA Women's Frozen Four. The semifinals took place on Friday with Minnesota Duluth upsetting number three Northeastern 2-1 in double overtime. In the second semifinal game, number one Ohio State defeated number five Yale 2-1. Friday was Yale's first ever Frozen Four appearance. Minnesota Duluth faced Ohio State on Sunday for the national championship. After two periods, the game was tied at one all with Ohio State out shooting Minnesota 30-13. Ohio State took the lead 24 seconds into the third period with Minnesota quickly responding. With under seven minutes left in the third, Ohio State scored again, clinching the 3-2 win for the Buckeyes' first national championship. Penn State women's basketball was dealt with some unfortunate news this week as two players have entered the transfer portal. Sophomore Tova Sable and junior Shea Hagens broke the news on their Instagram accounts on Sunday. Hagens was named Penn State's defensive captain for the 2021-2022 season and was the fourth leading scorer on the team. Hagens also started in 15 of the Lady Lions' 29 games this season. Hagens was a key player for coach Carolyn Keeger as she had 50 steals on the court this season along with 41 defensive rebounds. Sable was also a key contributor to the Lady Lions this season as she totaled 138 points and 18 assists. Both Hagens and Sable will be, will be missed on the court this season. So, Kendall, what are you looking forward to in sports this week? Like everyone else, I've been consumed with March Madness and with the big upsets with Kentucky and Baylor. I'm really looking forward to see how the rest of the tournament's going to play out. How about you? I agree. March Madness is definitely on my radar this week, but I'm also looking forward to watching Penn State women's lacrosse play Ohio State this Saturday. That's all the time we have for this week's sports update. For Kendall Skalicki, I'm Morgan Bull. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to this edition of Penn State Sports Night. We hope you liked that segment. And we're sure there's other Penn State Sports Night segments that you are going to love as well. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. And check us out on social media for updates and behind the scenes clips and pics. Follow us on Twitter at PSSNTV and on Instagram at PSU Sports Night to keep up with all the action. For all of us here at the Belisari Media Center, we are Penn State Sports Night.